If you really are an actor, then who hired you? I don't know. Every morning, a script and an envelope filled with cash was slipped under my door. And then I'd broadcast live. I knew it was wrong, but acting's my passion. And, and I haven't done live theater since I was a student at Maywood Glen Academy. Wait, you're that Kevin Glitterman? <laughs> we loved you in that production of Annie. Remember Bri, third grade? Miss Neven took the whole music class. OMG, you were Daddy Warbucks. You signed my program. I actually shaved my head completely bald for that. Why should we believe your Glitterman? Addison, run a facial recognition to check his story. The only reason I took this role was so that I could get my own apartment. I located his headshot and resume. He's telling the truth. I finally get my own place! <laughs> so this was all just a wild goose chase? In serio? It's like Retro was just a pawn. On. Emergency! Emergency! Innovate breach in progress! Innovate breach in progress! No! I'm locked out. There's nothing you can do to stop this. No, we've been honeypotted. It is honeypotted. It means using a decoy computer system to trap hackers. It lowers the risk of attacks on a network. Whoever Retro was working for used it against us. They knew we'd eventually use every computer in our defense system to stop him. We've been played. Michaela's right. The breach of Innovate has exposed our entire network. Whoever did this holds the key to the identities of every single agent around the world, meaning all of our agents are compromised and in danger. We have to get them out of the field as fast as we can. Quail, I'm so sorry. We don't have time for I'm sorry's. Right now, I have to focus on bringing our people in. Yeah, got it, I'm coming in. Got it. I'm on my way. Okay, so another reason why I love cacti so much... Understood. I'm on my way. Got it. I'm on my way. Right. Well, I'm coming right in. Roger, I'm coming in. Michaela. It's much too dangerous for us here. As difficult as this is, you know the drill. We have to move. We have 24 hours. This is all my fault. Our, Our fault. fault. We made the decision together. It's on all of us. Succeed together, fail together, remember? That's commendable. Fortunately, you girls are still agents in training, so you aren't in the Innovate database yet. You're still anonymous. Go back to your lives as normal high school girls immediately. You need to forget about Innovate altogether. Start packing your things, Michaela. We can't give up. We have to catch whoever's doing this. Maybe we can stop them before they release Innovate's data. I won't risk your safety. Girls, say your goodbyes and go home. It's over. I can't believe it's over. It's muy triste. And because of me, Michaela has to leave town. Right, and we're all to blame. Hey, is it true? Um, has Michaela left school? Yeah, she had to move. Her mom got a job in another city. Really? A teacher? Pardon me, I've with Devin DeMarco today since Michaela's gone, and uh, she kind of scares me. I think Heard she... that, Kyle. Ooh. Every word. <laughs> like my latest skull? That's definitely gonna leave a DeMarco. <laughs> Um, Michaela, you know I'm always on your side, but I'm guessing the Quill would not be happy about this. I just have a hunch Carson Lazarus is somehow behind all this. Nobody wanted Innovate destroyed more than she did. And with the girls gone, I need your help. Oh, you need me! We are a team. Always have been. Where you go, I go. True BFFs! Are you crazy? 
crying? Uh, no. I just have a little pixel in my eye. Uh, <clears throat> hello? I'm here to spray for ants. Catnip Everdeen. Is there catnip behind there, catnip? What are you trying to tell us? Something's not right. Oh, there are pH strips in your lab kit. Of course. We use pH strips to test it. If there's no color change, it'll confirm it's drywall. But if the color changes, it's something else. Need some water. Oh, good thinking. Stay hydrated. Not for me. I knew it. The acid levels show that the wall isn't made of drywall or wood. And some pieces are floating, suggesting it may be plastic, since many plastics are less dense than water. And since styrofoam is a type of plastic, it could be that. I must say, it's a pleasure watching you work, girlfriend! Isn't this refreshing? Nobody sneaking glances down to their screens. Everybody ready to learn? Uh. Now, you will have to write down your answers to today's quiz on a piece of paper with a pencil. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end? Yes, Justin. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end. Kyle, look, I'm really sorry about before. I just have some things on my mind. It's fine. No big deal. You ever hear the one about the geometry class that was always tired? They were out of shape. <laughs> she could shape and geometry. Hey. Commence bugging. Where's that coming from? Class, I think we have a visitor. It's my portable long-range acoustic device. I modified the extra ultrasound sensors for my dad's remote control model rocket. Over here? It's for Helix the cat's birthday. Gotcha. You made your sister's cat a birthday present? And if you spoil the surprise for him, I'll be way crazy. <clears throat> Uh, you know, I think it's coming from over there. Mm -hmm. Uh, nope, it's definitely coming from over there. Mm -hmm. Boy, everyone just focus on your work. Let's see what you're hiding in your man purse, Gruber. Uh, gotcha. Tuna with the crust cut off. Happy teaching. Love, mom. Ah, my head's cramping up. A screen. We're back on the grid. Greetings, Maywood Glenians. How you suffer without your precious technology! No texts, no phone calls, no games. Well, cry me a river! If anyone should be upset, it's me, 
I was stopped from deleting my hacker competition, just as I was prevented from ruining Dr. Tuttle. Well, now I'm just a flood of emotions. So maybe I'll take out Maywood Glen instead. Think you're miserable now? Just wait. By tomorrow night, you'll be drowning in your sorrows. Okay, um, no one freak out. I love secret messages. U R G E N T. Cafe Adams, 3 p.m. We've got to figure out how to get past that security perimeter. Well, these spy glasses are pretty rad. Anyway, it's got some tight tools. My turn, my turn. Let me see. Oh, do you see that car? Looks more suspicious to me. Hmm. Super sketch. That's gotta be them. Whoever it is that wants to stop the prince, they're moving in fast. We've gotta get past that guard and get to him before they do. Uh, guys, that was my urgent voice. Hmm? No biggie, I got this covered. Amazing. What did you do? I just rerouted his computer to stream an endless loop of funny cat videos. <laughs> he should be distracted for at least an hour. Very impressive. Thanks. Let's bolt before he catches on. me to guide you through this, here's lesson number one. Secret agents don't bounce. Oopsies. And they don't say oopsies. Hey, hey, hey. Where do you girls think you're going? And how did you get in here? Sir, I'm Agent McAllister, and I've been assigned to watch over the prince and ensure that he safely boards his space flight. Well there, Harriet the spy. I look after the prince, OK? No, no visitors allowed inside, so you lot are going to have to go home and swoon over his snap book like all the other fangirls, OK? <laughs> It's Snapchat. You see, you were mixing up Snapchat and Facebook. <laughs> Sir, you don't understand. I work for an elite group of women operatives from all over the world. Oh, hey! Is this what usually happens? No, not when I'm on my own. What do we do now? They're never gonna let us in. Mm -hmm. You're right. They won't. Not a chance. And this is what I call a red alert. 